All right, how is everybody doing today? I'm so excited and so happy uh, that you're allowing me to teach you guys about Facebook pixels and how to set them up and how to do retargeting. Super excited, guys. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this is a really unique one. Um, and pay close attention. It's actually a lot easier than people make it sound. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your Power Editor, you know, where you get all of your, um, excuse me, your Ads Manager, where you get all of your uh, Facebook ads up. Make sure you're in the right account up here. And what I want you to do is on the top left, uh, click on Ads Manager and then All Tools. You should see this Power Editor is kind of where you go to make your um, actual ads. You can go here and see custom conversions, analytics, and all this other cool stuff. What I want you to do is click on Pixels. We'll let this page open. And then up here, what I want you to do is set up a pixel. Uh, and then typically copy paste works a lot easier than this integration or tag manager. Uh, so I'm gonna click on copy and paste. Now this is the code uh, that you need to literally just copy and paste on your footer or your header. Typically in the header, uh, you post this whole entire code uh, in ClickFunnels, they make it extremely easy, uh, but you literally just copy-paste this whole code. Uh, before you do that, you want to make sure you turn on Advanced Matching. Advanced Matching allows you to do a lot more cooler things. Uh, you can set up eight different pixels, uh, and it allows for much, much better tracking, much better conversions, and in the end, much better retargeting, which allows you to put more money in your pocket and in return, you help a lot more people out with your products or your services. So make sure you turn on advanced matching, you copy this code, and you put this code in the header of your click funnels or lead pages or whatever you use. Now next, what you want to do, I'm going to minimize this one because we don't need it. Um, but what I want you guys to focus on, especially in click funnels. So in click funnels, you guys remember how you have four or five different things. Um, so what you want to do is create a pixel for each one of those pages. And you want to do this for a couple of reasons. One, I don't only want a pixel from when someone goes from Facebook to my page. I want someone that goes from Facebook to my page. I want a pixel for that. I want them, you know, if I have a four series video or um, thing with four different pages, I want a pixel for each one of those pages. Uh, I want a pixel for when they add something to my cart. I want a pixel for when they purchase something, and I want a pixel for when they complete the registration. So here's what I'm going to do. When they come to my page, what I want is either a lead pixel or a view content. Now, this is just depending on kind of what you're doing. A lead, you typically want them to go to like a sales page, a view content. If you don't really have anything to offer there, but you're wanting to retarget them later, uh, but you're just providing value up front, you know, use that one instead. Uh, the next one, if you're doing like, um, hey, you have something and you send them to a sales page, you want to do this initiate checkout. And again, guys, all of this can go in either the header or the footer of the page. It really doesn't matter. Uh, typically, you want to put that longer one in the header and this in the footer. Uh, but again, it doesn't really matter. You can just put it both in the same place and go from there. But like initiate checkout. And then what I want them to do once they do initiate checkout Cool, now they're done that. Now I want, you know, let's say to add it to the new cart. So I want to make sure I pixel that on the next page. Uh, and then you can literally do this for everything. You can even do a custom event and then put in your own event name and then like do that. So you can literally do almost anything you want here. But the cool thing is when you have this pixel set up, it'll tell you how many people convert um, and how many conversions you're getting, how many leads you're getting. And then you can kind of see and follow them through all of this. So let's go here and paste pixel code. Cool, cool, cool. And then, yeah, you can do it this way too, but you don't really need that. And then send pixel status. Cool. And then it'll email you instructions on how to set up the pixel. But like I said, just copy and paste it. Now, the cool thing is when you're running ads and you can do this is, and you start pixeling people and start getting in front of them, what you can do is create an audience. And now here is a default pixel. There's only one pixel set up on this account. But, you know, like I said, if you set up eight of those different pixels, you can remarket it and retarget all those people. So 
if someone added something to their cart but never checked out, you want to retarget those with, hey, this thing just went on sale. Um, it's ten dollars off or half off or whatever you're doing. You want to retarget those people differently than you're going to retarget people uh, that go from the page that you sent and they bought whatever you gave them. You're like, hey, cool, you bought this. Uh, because of that, will you buy this too? It's a special offer. I'm only offering it to you because you bought this other thing. Um, if you guys are selling like supplements or something like that, and you're giving away like a smaller sample uh, for a lot less, and someone says yes, the absolute best upsell you can do to that is, hey, you just bought this for I don't know, just say ten bucks. Do you want a bigger bottle of it for twenty bucks or fifteen bucks? Odds are those conversions are gonna say yes. Uh, and the cool thing is here. I can name it, I can set a specific domain if they went to a specific website, I can exclude some, I can include more, and then you want to make sure here you're a little, uh, when you're naming your audiences, you want to make sure you're very specific to what name you're giving them, um, because if you're doing this right, and you start doing it at a big level, you're going to have hundreds in here, and if they're all named like one or two, <laughs> or they're not very specific names, uh, it's going to be very hard for you to come back when you have a couple hundred pixels in there and like go through it, especially if you, you know, let's say you're doing it all day one and then you hire a Facebook guy or a girl and they're doing all this for you and their first day they come in and they have a hundred pixels and they're not really named well and they don't really know what they're doing and then they have to go find the code and find what page it's attached to and oh, okay, this is for the registration and this is for uh, someone who bought and it's just a lot more work. Um, it's better to start off doing it the right way so here, when you're naming something, uh, especially naming it for what it's doing. So let's say you have um, a special water, and the special water, and someone bought. So you know you type in the water's name, buyer, retargeting pixel. Super simple. Someone that comes in day one can look at that and oh okay cool it's for this product it's someone who bought and we're retargeting them. Easy. So that's kind of how you guys want to do it. Um, again, super simple. All you do is set up pixel. Make sure you copy paste this code. Most, most, most important thing you do is advanced matching. Copy and paste this into the header. And then you can come down here and kind of play, play around with all of these different things. And make sure you have a pixel on every single page. Once you do that, you'll copy and paste it. It'll ask, hey, do you want me to email you how to do it? You don't really need that. Uh, you certainly can if you need it, though. Once you do that, and you are running ads, and you get enough traffic to a certain page. Now, what is enough traffic, you ask? It, it'll be a couple thousand people um, for each pixel. So if you're retargeting people that are coming to your page but not buying, and you have a couple thousand, uh, Facebook marketers themselves say you they want 10,000 uh, that's a good number um, if you can get six seven or eight you're okay retargeting um, but again not all of those people are going to be prominent buyers so you want to get a little bit more specific uh, but then again getting 10,000 people to visit your site and getting 10,000 people to buy are very two different things and it's a little bit tougher so what I would recommend is getting 10,000 people to your site, retargeting those, testing how you're doing with that, and then going from there, um, and then kind of retargeting once you're growing that audience and each pixel has that many people, and then kind of going from there. But it's pretty simple. You create that audience. You can map them however you want. You can include or exclude people. Make sure you name the audience correctly uh, because you don't want someone coming in and you hiring this amazing Facebook person. It takes them a month just to understand uh, your system so when you're naming it make sure you're naming it like uh, your product name um, bought or a lead or put it in the wish list but never bought it um, whatever you want don't be ashamed to have longer names but if you do um, just to make it look better kind of do it this way where you capitalize the start of every word name um, I guess action and then um, pixel so that way, when someone looks at it, it looks a lot cleaner. Uh, it's easier to read. Uh, and don't be ashamed to give it a longer name. Because believe me, at the end of the day, when you're going through and you have hundreds of these, and I've seen them, uh, when you have hundreds, 
even thousands of these, uh, you don't really want to go through and try to figure out what each pixel stands for and does. Um, I would much rather take a couple more seconds to read a longer name and be extremely clear than not. This has been another training, and I look forward to you guys becoming Pixel Masters.